Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing the JCB Golf Club in Great Britain. Uh, we're going to start out with a par 4. I'm going to go with the driver here. Got this one pretty good for me. 350 yard drive. Uh, 230 carry. Uh, pretty good roll out here. Uh, I'm going to have a short iron in. I believe I went with the 52 degree. Uh, it's Uphill, probably playing more like 100. Um, gonna play a little draw in. Been working on my, my setup more upright um, on these short irons. I'm playing a playing a draw. Um, trying to avoid the tugs. Uh, I was too bent, too hunched over. Um, so I'm working on that, and I had a pretty good day with that with that adjustment. Here I hit this one within the eight foot gimme circle. I'm gonna be setting my gimmies back down to six feet. Um, been tweaking the Mevo Plus setup um, so it reads the short putts better. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Par four, 324. I'm gonna go with a three hybrid here and uh, give myself you know, a, a short iron in. I got this one well, I was happy with this one. I can hit that three hybrid 200 yards plus, and it's gonna make for a good day. I'm gonna go with, I believe, the 52 again. It's a downhill. And I'm gonna to try to stand up a little more straighter and play a drive. This worked out well on this hole. Very happy with the birdie. And we're gonna go on to a par five, which is a Big dog leg left. Um, I'm gonna break this one off in segments. Um, normally I would go with a three hybrid here and do a couple 200, 200, and then short iron in. Went with the driver, got it off the, hot, the heel a little bit. Didn't go very far, so it was essentially hitting the three hybrid, went 200 yards. <laughs> Again, three hybrid. Leaving myself a short iron in. This one just catches the first cut and kind of deadens that one. I'm 125 in, um, setting up with the gap wedge here. Hoping this one would release a little bit more, but I'm happy with it. I'm a greens and regulation. Um, haven't been doing that a lot lately. So, so far so good. With the greens and regulation anyway. Not my best putt here. A little long. Stays in that eight foot circle. For the back nine, I, I'm gonna set it to six feet. We got a par 4, 382. I'll take the driver. It's uphill. This one I, I yanked. <laughs> it's going to leave me a, a tricky shot coming back. This deep rough, the, I can't take a low lofted club. It's just going to eat it. So you got to go with a higher lofted club. And so I'm going to play this out to the right, just in front of the green. Happy with this result. It just hangs up on this ridge. If it gets to that yellow part, it's gonna roll down. And, um, so now I'm happy with this a little 36 yard chip here. And scrambling to save par on that hole. Now we've got uh, par three. 88, and I believe I went with the 7 iron here. And I took a little bit off of it and I set it up for a fade, or a draw, I'm sorry. Land's a little short, but it worked out perfect. 
was hoping for that to curl in. <laughs> but, you know, I'll take that. Should just be an easy short foot, short eight foot putt for birdie. Ah, a little too much pace, lift it out. Gotta start aiming inside the cup instead of outside the cup on those short putts. Here we've got a par five, short par five. Got greedy here and went with the driver. I'm not, not sure why I did this. I should have just stuck with my my plan of using that three hybrid on the par fives. And for some reason, the testosterone took over and I went with the driver and paid the price. Um, so now I'm gonna come out with a, a seven iron and just try to get it, um, or eight iron, I'm sorry, and try to get it in the fairway and leave myself a, a short iron in. That deep rough on this course just kills it. Uh, 110 out, uphill, and I'm gonna set up the gap wedge again with a, with a bit of a draw. Again, happy with the, the setup. Hoping for a kick left here and just didn't get it. Happy with the, the way I'm hitting the greens in regulation and, and the tweak I've made to my stance. Another short putt to get in the gimme circle. Again, I gotta work on these, these my putting. That was a little aggressive. Here we've got a little dog leg right, uh, par four. It's a longer par four for me, 425. I'm set up to go out over that bunker and play a little fade. And I just make it over and get myself in the fairway. So happy with that shot. And here I'm going to take an 8 iron, I believe, from 165 and 4 yards down. So it plays more like 160. This one I kind of pulled a little bit. And it's not going to stay on this green. Got a big false front on that green. One yards out. I decided to try to put this one back in my stance and just kind of run it up there. Got a little aggressive with it. It's the right play. I just hit it too hard. So about 22 feet out. Pretty level putt as far as the hill, but it's got a left or right break. And I'm just going to get that one in there. So the first bogey of the day for this back front nine, sorry. Now I got a par four, about 400 yards. I'm going to take the driver again. And another pull. Got to work on this. Now I'm a little worried about the lip on this one, so I'm going to take a, a lofted club here, just get it out, and then leave myself a, a chip into the green. So, it's good when, when things go as planned. So 30 yards out, I'm going to take the 60 and put it kind of in the middle of my stance and flip it up there. Goes as planned. Worked out well for the par. All right, we're going to go to the final hole on the front nine. It's a par three. It's a short par three. Um, not good at finesse shots like this where it's not a full swing. Um, I believe I have a 60 degree. Come up a little short and right here. Okay, I can uh, 
little 15 yard flip. I'm gonna aim it out a little right. And I pulled that one, which actually worked out well. Because it was breaking left on me, I didn't realize it. So I will take a 36, I will par the front nine here. And I will work on the back nine for you. And thanks for joining us. Like and subscribe.